महला पंचवा घर चौथा एक ओंकार सतगुर प्रसाद ऐसे गुर खो बल बल जा
ਜਾਈਏ ਐਸੇ ਗੁਰ ਕੋ ਬਲ ਬਲ ਜਾਈਏ ਆਪ ਮੁਕਤ ਮੋਹੇ ਤਾਰੇ ਆਵਰ ਫਿਫਥ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸ਼ਹੀਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਰਤਾਜ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ 뮤지ਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ praises our lord our malik narayan narayan is another name for god narpat namaskare ohna nu namaskar karo assi namaskar karde ha i bow down to him the great narayan the great narpat aise gur ko bal bal jhaiye dat guru aisa guru os guru tu bale hare jha ਬਲ ਭਲ ਜਾਈਏ ਆਪ ਮੁਕਤ ਮੋਹਿ ਤਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਸ਼ੈਕਲਸ ਦ ਬੌਂਡੇਜ ਦ ਡਾਊਟ ਦ ਐਂਜ਼ਾਇਟੀ ਥੈਟ ਕਲਚਿਸ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਆਵਰ ਮਨ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਉਹ ਆਪ ਮੁਕਤ ਹੈ ਆਪ ਮੁਕਤ ਮੋਹਿ ਤਾਰੇ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਬੌਂਡੇਜ ਮੋਹਿ ਤਾਰੇ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਤਾਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਵਨ 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 ਗੁਣ ਕਹੀਏ ਅੰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਛਪਾਰੇ ਦ ਰੈਸਟ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਦਾ ਵਾ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਉਸਤਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਾਲਕ ਦੀ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਿਸ ਹਿਸ ਮਾਲਕ ਹਿਸ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਹਿਸ ਲੋਰਡ ਇਨ ਏਵਰੀ ਲਾਈਨ ਇਨ ਦ ਰਿਮਾਈਂਡਰ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਆਫਟਰ ਦ ਰਹਾਉ in every line guru ji praise the malik kavan 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 gun kahiye kere gun aapa keh sakde ho which words can we use ant nahi ka chhapare there are not that many words that we can use sift salah karne wale inne akhar hi hai nahi ke lafz hai nahi ke jere ke aapa vart sakiye aap ji di ustad lakh 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 kai kore को है ऐसो बिचारे लाख मींस 100000 लाख न द 100000 लाख न द 100000 लाख 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 कई कोड़े मिलियंस टेंस ऑफ मिलियंस अंत नहीं को है ऐसो बिचारे बट वेरी फ्यू देयर आर ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਐਸੀ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝ ਹੈ ਦੋਸ ਦਟ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਦ ਮਾਲਕਸ ਵਾਟ ਦ ਲੋਰਡਸ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਨੈਸ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਜ਼ ਕੋ ਹੈ ਐਸੋ ਵਿਚਾਰੇ ਬਿਸਮ 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 ਹੀ ਪਈ ਹੈ ਬਿਸਮ ਮੀਨਸ ਦਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਓ ਸਟਰਕ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅਸਟਾਉਂਡਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਫਲਾਬਗਾਸਟਡ ਜਦ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਹੈਰਾਨੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਬਿਸਮ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬਿਸਮ 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 ਪਈ ਹੈ ਲਾਲ ਗੁਲਾਲ ਰੰਗਾਰੇ ਲਾਲ ਮੀਨਸ ਰੈਡ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨਦਰ ਵੇ ਆਫ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਮਵਨ ਸਿਫਤ ਸਲਾਹ ਵੈ ਮੀ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਸਮਵਨ ਚਿਹਰਾ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਲਾਲੀ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਲਾਲੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਦੇ ਫੇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਰੈਡ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਬਲੱਡ ਵੈਰੀ ਹੈਪੀ लाल गुलाल रंगारे कहो नानक संतन रस आई है 657 टाइम्स इन द गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब गुरु जी यूज द लफ्ज कहो इंस्टेड ऑफ कहे व्हेन यू से कहो यू आर ऑर्डरिंग समवन यू आर रिक्वेस्टिंग टू देम यू आर टेलिंग देम टू से से दिस कहो as opposed to kahe kahe means that he says kahe nan 657 times in the guru granth sahib guru ji use the lafz kaho why because in many shabds what we are actually reading is a dialogue taking place between god and our guru and god is telling him to say this or say that kaho कहो नानक संतन रस आई है औ नानक सेई दिस दैट इन द कंपनी ऑफ द संत्स द सेंट्स उना दी संगत करके रस आंदा है 
संतन रस आई है and how do we describe that ras that feeling that we get when we are in the company of true saints jo chak gunga muskare you know someone who is mute who cannot speak gunga jis ton bol nahi hunda us ti koi zuban nahi hai and if you ask him to describe the taste of a sweet which words can he use to describe it was sirf muskraye ga muskra means to smile ज्यों चाक गुंगा मुस्कारे दैट इज द आनंद द ब्लिस द हैप्पीनेस दैट यू एक्सपीरियंस इन द कंपनी ऑफ दोस संत्स इन दिस शब्द गुरुमुख को प्यारे हो गुरु साहिबा ने सतगुरु दी वडियाई कीती है दे हैव डन द उस्तत वडियाई ऑफ द सतगुरु वी बिलीव इन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ गुरु one is a siksha guru your teacher your mother your ustad somebody you learn from is your siksha guru it's an honorific appellation an elderly person je to tusi koi vidya sikhi hove usnu keh dende hai siksha guru hai mera and the other is a diksha guru someone who gives you spiritual instruction our satgurus are diksha gurus kabir was a diksha guru namdev was a diksha guru ramanuj was a diksha guru ramanand was a diksha guru the guru granth sahib is a diksha guru and then there are many sant sadhu mahatma sadh lok jinna nu apa kehnde pe eh bhi diksha guru hai because they give you spiritual instruction so we have diksha guru we have siksha guru and then we have sat guru sat guru is the true guru sat guru baj ho guru nahi koi ne gure ka hai na ho gura other than the sat guru there is no other true guru ne gure ka hai na ho gura jara ne gura hai jene guru taariya nahi jene sat guru nu pehchaniya nahi us da na ho gura hai so we have the sat guru and the difference between the diksha guru and the sat guru is aap mukat mohita de jada sat guru hai oh aap mukat hai he is free from that bondage those shackles and he is able to give us this dharma gurmukho pyareo we take the guru for granted jada sada sat guru hai sri guru granth sahib maharaj we take him for granted ਆਪਾ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਹਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਾਪ ਕਮਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਔਗੁਣ ਕਮਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਉ ਡਾਊਨ ਇਨ ਫਰੰਟ ਆਫ ਹਿਮ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਪੇ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਪੇਸ ਨੋ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਆਵਰ ਬੋਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬਾਉਇੰਗ ਡਾਊਨ ਬਟ ਆਵਰ ਮਨ ਆਵਰ ਮਤ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਪੇਇੰਗ ਐਨੀ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਕਿ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ in the time of guru nanak dev in the time of saints like kabir ramanuj guru amar das sahib sat guru tarna bahut hi okha si ga it was very very difficult ramanuj lived in a place called tiruvarangam and he had heard of this great guru called goshti purna who used to live in tirukottiyar an rama anuj de man de vich forna banya ke main he guru tarna hai i want to become his shish i want to become his disciple so rama anuj traveled the long distance from tiruvarangam all the way to tirukottiyar 17 17 times he made that journey and whenever he presented himself in front of goshti purna ne ardas hai ki ki ke he malik mein wo apna shish bana lo make me your disciple i want you to become my guru 17 times guru mukho pyareo each time 
he turned up in front of Goshti Purna and he did this Benti Ardas Goshti Purna sent him back say I'm not accepting you as my disciple go back but Raman which never gave up ek vari hoya do vari hoye stara vari Raman which tero varangam to leke tu kothir tak gaya Goshti Purna nu apna guru banan de le और जद वह पहुंचे अरदास के हे मालक मैं अपना शिष बना लो मैं अपना सिख बना लो गोष्टी पुरना ने उन्होंने मुड़के घर भेज दिता ऑन द एटीन टाइम गोष्टी पुरना रिकोगनाइज दैट दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी डिवाउटेड शिष दैट डजंट मैटर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स आई सेंड हिम बैक ही विल कीप अपीयरिंग ही सेड चलो आई विल एक्सेप्ट यू बट यू हैव टू फास्ट फॉर 21 डेज 21 दिन आदा तेन वर्त रखना पेगा एंड रामा नुज डिड दैट खुश होके उन्हें कीता हो ही डिड दिस एंड देन गोष्टी पूर्णा एक्सेप्टेड हिम इन्ना औखा सिगा गुरुमुखो गुरु दान बिकमिंग अ शेष ऑफ दैट गुरु वाज सो डिफिकल्ट यू एंड आई वुड गिव अप आफ्टर द सेकंड विजिट शेयर we might return for the second visit is possible we may go back shayad aap duji baar us group ko jaiye pe samjhi apna sik bana lo but the majority of us most of us would say rando is a fake guru pakhandi baba and so on and so forth and then when rama nuj became his disciple ek hor bahut achanak gal hai ohna de jeevan de vich that ramanuj wanted to learn a particular mantra of him the antakshri mantra it was in their time on a rita de vich it was a mantra that only the greatest disciples could learn and goshti purna said to him i will teach it to you or if you keep repeating it all your life you will go to swarg but if you teach it or sing it to anybody else they will go you will go to nark रामानुज कहें ठीक सत बचन जी प्लीज टीच मी दिस मंत्र द अंतक्षरी मंत्र देखो गुरुमुखो द गुरु गिव्स अस अ शब्द एज वेल 1430 अंग इन्ने शब्द सन गुरु साहिब ने दित्ते है इन दोस डेज जेरे शिष्य हुंदे सी उना नु बेनती करनी पेंदी सी गी दे यूज्ड टू हैव टू बेग इन फ्रंट ऑफ दे गुरु के हे मालिक सन मंत्र दे दो गिव मी अ शब्द give me a shabd a word and guru sahib have given us 1430 ang ta sanu koi qadar nahi us di i tell you about kabir in a few moments goshti purna taught him the antakshri mantra as soon as ramanuj had learned it ramanuj jumped onto the court town to the roof of the nearest building and he started to read it out and shout the antakshri mantra to everyone Goshti Purna said to him hey gurmukha do you not realize that you will go to nark that you will go to hell for sharing this mantra with everybody else and rama anuj said i am happy to go to hell but everyone who has heard it will go to swarg i am quite happy to go to nark dekho kinna number 1 how difficult it was for rama anuj to get a guru in the first place number 2 to get a mantra benti karni pendi si you just have to bow down in front of your guru and say ke he malik mainu mantra de do let me tell you about another great saint someone who is closer to our home baba kabir the great saint the great pag he was a muslim and he was a julaha a weaver and as far as ramanand was concerned there were two things wrong with him ramanand was a brahman and in those days Brahman gurus very rarely took any disciples of a lower varn very rarely kabir thought to himself ke ek ta main musliman hai dooji gall hai i am a malesh i am a jula a hindu convert to islam was called a malesh the hindus called the malesh if a hindu converted to islam which many of them did they began to refer to them as malesh The second thing that's wrong with me the third thing that's wrong with me is that I am a jalaha Ramanand will never accept me like and I want him to become my guru how am I going to get him 
to accept me as a disciple. Ramanand thought to himself, ke, Baba Kabir thought to himself, ke Ramanand goes to the Ganga every morning, very early in the morning, and he has a bath. After he has his bath, he does his Nitanim Bhat Puja. And what I should do is I should go and lie down in that path that he follows and try to approach him. I will try to speak to him perhaps. Maybe after he's done his part, Puja, and he's coming back, I'll try to speak to him. So that's what he did. One morning he lay down in that path, right by where Ramanand used to bathe by the Ganga. Ramanand turns up one morning and he finds this man lying on the floor and he said, Hey Sikha, get up and say Ram. Hey Sikha, get up and say Ram. Wake up and say Ram. How many words is that? Kabir got up and as far as he was concerned, he was absolutely overjoyed. He was very, very happy. That Ramanand has accepted me as a disciple. He has not just accepted me as a disciple, but he's also given me the mantar. Say Ram, that is my mantar. Dekho shabd lena kinna okhasiga in those days. This is what Baba Kabir had to do. What about Guru Amar Das Sahib, our own third master, the third Guru of the Sikhs? Very old, many, many pilgrimages. And one day he meets a sadhu who tells him that you are Nigura. The sadhu stayed with him for a few days. And after a few days, the sadhu asked him, Who is your guru? Who is your Diksha Guru, Kere to Vidya lai hai. Who have you had your Vidya from? Who taught you? And Baba Amarda said, I have no Guru. I my part puja karna hai to the Devis and the Devte, and I go on the Yatra to the Tirats. That's all I do. I have no Guru. And the Sadhu was horrified. Horrified. You are a Nigura. Dekho, from that day, Guru Amar Das Sahib, our third master, went out in search of the Guru. He himself had to find a Guru, then he found Guru Angad Dev Sahib. Guru Mukho, the first lesson that we need to learn from this is that we are taking our Guru for granted. We are taking the Bani, the Shabd, and our Guru, which are the same thing for granted. The second thing I want you to take away from this today is never to betray your Guru, never to betray that relationship between you and your Guru. When you have accepted the Shabd, the Bani, the Guru, then never betray your Guru. And in our Itahas, we have to look at the time of Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib, our ninth master, who was approached by the Kashmiri Pandits. Our life is in danger. Aurangzeb, the great emperor, has delivered an ultimatum to us, and he has said that if you don't convert to Islam, I will slaughter all of you. Every single one of you will be beheaded and slaughtered in every way possible. Guru Sahib, our ninth master, said, We'll go and tell Aurangzeb that if he can convert Guru Tegh Bahadur, the Guru of the Sikhs and the Hindus, then we will all convert. To Aurangzeb. In the meantime, Guru Tegh Bahadur, knowing that Aurangzeb would send a summons, began to set off for Delhi. He thought, I'm not going to run and hide. Aurangzeb is going to now. Write out an arrest warrant and I will go and I will meet them in Delhi. Guruji went to Delhi. They were accompanied by many Sikhs, Guru Mukho. Sati Das, Mati Das, Dayal Das. 
Satidas and Matidas were two brothers. They accompanied Guruji as did Dayaldas. Matidas was arrested with the Guru. All four of them were arrested. They were imprisoned. And Matidas was asked by Aurangzeb's troops that if you convert to Islam, then we will free you. Inna di inni sharda sigi guru devich Sahib sankatve sevak pajje Chirankal na jive dhau kul lajje Sahib sankat devich hove Your guru is in difficulty Sevak pajje and the sevak runs off and betrays his guru Chirankal na jive dhau kul lajje He will not live in this world or the next In fact, loading a dhau kulla Two generations Una nu sharma aegi lajje aegi and Sati Das is one of those Sikhs that did not betray his Guru. Our Itahas tells us that he was cut in half with a saw. Mati Das was cut in half by a saw. Sati Das was wrapped in cotton wool. Oil was poured over him and he was burnt alive. Dayal Das was placed into a cauldron of hot water and killed and martyred in that way. And yet, but John Day Hakes had the Satguru, Sri Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib, our ninth master, was beheaded, executed by Aurangzeb on his orders. Matlab ki ke Guru Mukho Pyaryo, number one, do not take your Guru the Sabbath for granted. Try to understand how difficult it was for those Sikhs, those Bhagats to find their Guru in the first place. So now the man of the which can read Sigi Lochana Sigi to find their Guru. Sadhale bought Sokha. And number two, never betray the word of the Guru. Try to learn these lessons from the lives of our Shaheed saying from the lives of our Gurus. Rag Kanra. The version of Kanra we are singing is called Nayaki Kanra. Many different versions of Kanra. Ese Gurko Bala Bala Jaye Aap Mukat Mohe Tare Gurko Bala Bala Jaye Why did you